Hi everyone, this is just a quick video. I have this security light with the PIR which is charged by a solar panel. The problem is I didn't keep the solar panel very clean so the battery's actually gone pretty flat. So I'm going to open it up and see if there's some way we can charge this with an external AC adapter. Okay, so now we're inside. And the first thing we can see is a large battery. That looks something like an 18650, like a regular battery that you'd find in many torches and such like. But the first thing you'll notice is there's no charging regulator. Basically, the solar panel comes in here and goes straight to the battery. So what I was thinking is that I could use something like this, which is from CD Arcing, where you can adjust the voltage. But the problem with this is that because there's no regulation going on here, I don't know if it might damage the battery or overcharge it or something like that. So what I have to do is try and come up with another solution. Now I have this torch here, and if you open it up, you'll see that it has a regular 18650 battery, 3.7 volts. And pretty much the same size as the one that's in there. It's also 3.7 volts. So what I'm thinking is I can use the charger for that torch battery. This is uh, just a cheap generic charger, but it seems to work okay. But the good thing is that this will hopefully handle any overcharging and so on. So I'm thinking if I can just hook this up to the input here where the solar goes in, I should be okay. Now what I need to do is find out if the center is positive or negative. And to do that, I can see a bit of exposed wire on this switch here so I'm going to use my multimeter to find out which one is which on the input so if I put one probe against the exposed wire on the switch and then the other one to probe the input should be able to hopefully work this out Ah, uh, there you go. So we now know, because this one black is going to the switch, we know that the outside is negative and the center pin is positive. We'll need that when we hook our wires up to this battery charger. So I can now put this thing back together. So I have my torch charger plugged in, and I have this bit here from the CDR King Universal Charger and I'm going to use this so that I can easily connect into this. But what I need to do is find out which pin is for the center and which is for the outside. So again, I'll use my multimeter for that. So let's test these pins. Okay, so I know that that pin is the outside, which means it needs to be negative. So I'll put a crocodile clip on there and I'll plug this in. Now I'm going to use this piece of plastic just to keep the pins separate from each other. should probably use some electrical tape, but this is only very temporary, so I think it will be okay. And I've got a positive cable on the other side. And then I'll connect the negative to the negative of the charger. And I'll connect the positive. You can see that the light's turned red. This one's a little bit more difficult to connect because there's no spring on this side. There you go. So now I'm charging my battery inside the solar light from what I usually use to charge my torch battery. Now this isn't going to be a common occurrence because I'm going to make sure I keep the solar panel clean so this charges by itself. But this will do for now since we've got a lot of rain at the moment and I want to make sure that this is charged. So, you know, it's, it's a bit of a hack but, you know, it works so I'm happy with that. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe and you can follow me on Twitter at WhiteyGadgetAddict for behind the scenes pictures and so on. Thanks for watching.